Hello everybody, I welcome you in this video. I hope we will have fun with, um, with this video where I will speak about some interesting chess opening tricks and we are in the example number one which maybe you know it or if you know you will know after this video. Knight to b4 is uh, at the first point of view a strange looking move and my advice is to play a3 here but it's difficult to not play check on a4 because it look like black will lose his knight on c6 or b4 because uh, after simple looking move knight to c6 white should play a3 or d5 and in this in this position i will tell you what happened after a3 and after a3 knight to a6 it's on the way move d5 and uh, still it's very difficult to see what's what's wrong with white position or it's difficult to see why black played this opening mainly after knight to c5 maybe this is the last chance to play back to d1 but um, it's difficult to go home with move uh, to d1 when we are so close to win knight on c6 and after b6 is too late. Check with me how many squares are under black's control uh, in this position. And uh, you can you can simply imagine that white will have a really soon big problems with his queen on b5. And it's now no way how to save his queen and this game is lost. Uh, if white will take on c6 by lady, it's lost with one simple move because once again, it's no way how to save this material, this queen. So maybe white should fight two moves more with take on c6 by pawn, but once again, check with me how many squares are under black's control and only one square on b4 is not under control. And you can win with move a5 and move to a6. Maybe faster is e5 and with this move you are taking control of b4 and uh, once again all squares which are close to the white queen are under black's control and that means that yes it's game over but not for black but for white and maybe simple variation should go like this um, you can see move like a6 and once again it's only one move where white should go but then will be check check and victory for black so just you can go with me and it's not so hard to win this game with black pieces with check on d3 and uh, you can see that black is winning Okay, so we are going to move for another example and this example is starting with move f4 with answer e5 and d6 it's uh, the first interesting, uh, interesting moves and first interesting threats because first threat is checkmate on h4 and if this is going to happen is checkmate. That's why white is playing knight to f3. Uh, yes, it's a simple move where white stop the threat 
and um, maybe everything's okay even after move g5 but move g5 has one threat to go to g4 and now white should stop this threat he has two options h3 or g3 and if white playing g3 everything is fine if white is playing h3 everything is wrong because it's beautiful checkmate on g3 and uh, that's another example how not to play openings in checks okay we are moving for another example and this example it's i believe well-known example in chess theory and lots of people know it so maybe you will not be surprised when you will see this opening trick uh, after a knight to d7 white should try to win the game in next two moves and the first move is to play to e2 with his queen and white is waiting if black will play knight g to f6 and if this move will happen it's another beautiful victory from the white point of view yes i agree this is famous and maybe it's not so interesting okay we can move for another example and maybe this example it's not so famous it's coming from the french defense and after normal looking moves white will play to d3 by bishop and everything is fine and maybe it's still in theory after move knight b to d7 if white will not play to e2 by his queen and uh, this is the first signal that something is strange because this move should not be right because it look like when black will take on e4 and play it once again to f6 black will win a time win a tempo because white need to go back with his bishop but maybe black is wrong and yes black is wrong because this is the this is the idea of this opening white will take on b7 and then will play check on b5 and then will take on b7 and it's very simple position why it will be with more material with good pawn structure and i believe this this uh, position is close for victory for white so be very careful if you will see this chess tricks at your chess games and now we can see my lovely lovely opening and once again we can see strange looking move knight to b4 and at the first example we saw check and we saw move a3 but now what's happened after move d5 and it's still looking like black is lost because it's very difficult to see how black will save his knight on c6 but yes it's one move here and it's move b5 because after move b5 if you will take by lady you will get check on c2 and fork to a1 rook okay that's the reason to take by the c pawn but now it's uh, maybe surprise black is going to d4 and for why it is difficult to take on b4 because on 4 on c2 and yes this game is still is still um, is still playable for white but here black is much more stronger 
and should play should play for victory. Okay, we are moving for another example. This example is simple, but um, why not to show you some simple examples? And after c3 and d6 here is a big mistake. It looks like everything's okay because what's wrong with move d6? And my answer is everything is wrong because white will play e5. And once again, if black will take on e5, is black is lost. So maybe we can check it why black is lost. And it's lost because why will take on f7. I know, I know everybody lost some chess game like this and everybody knows some dirty chess opening tricks and that's why I, I prepared this video because uh, for everybody it's like experience, experience how to play chess openings, how to not make the same mistakes and if we will see some chess mistakes in this video I believe we will never ever play in the same direction. In uh, this opening which is in theory black should play interesting move uh, to c5 and it look like Um, black doesn't care a lot about uh, threat on c6. The best move is to play to e3 and uh, maybe the worst move is to take on c6 and we can see why. Because of this variation. Okay, so now we can move it for another example and uh, it's sometimes happen that we are playing variation uh, in which we believe that it's in theory, it's in book, but um, a small accident, small, small change or small different and now black is in big trouble after e5. Because if black will take on e5, it's only one way to play maybe to h5. If black will play to g4, is check on b5. And if black will play to d7, we lose knight on g4. And Maybe worse option is to play to f8 because it's check on a6 and black will lose his d8 piece. So be careful and be careful and not play opening like this. Uh, the last example is once again from my lovely opening and uh, maybe why to play knight to three, knight to c3 but everything is wrong after this surprise move and after this variation it look like black is nearly winning so i hope you enjoyed this video maybe you know some more interesting opening tricks and um, it's it's maybe good idea to not play opening like somebody played in these videos. Uh, thank you for watching and I hope you to see you soon in our chess channel.